Okay, I'm gonna put some of this bunker oil, crude oil, on the water. Now, for the past 25 years, Willie Nelson, who you hear talking there, has been fascinated by wax. He's been experimenting with the stuff most of his life. His work, however, is done largely ignored, but now he's being flown to Chernobyl to help seal plutonium leaking from the reactor. We're looking at Willie Nelson's lab in Perth, Ontario, and Willie's doing an experiment with wax. Willie, what are you doing? Uh, I just finished putting some uh, crude oil on some water. And I'm going to sprinkle now some granulated wax on top of the oil. Granulated wax? I've never heard of it. Granulated wax is, is IGI International Waxes formula, and it really works good. So what are you doing now? You're soaking up some oil? Yeah, I'm soaking up the, uh, the oil with the granulated wax. It should form into a solid. There's our solid wax. This is absolutely amazing stuff. I have another container. I'm going to pour water in this container. All right. Now I'm going to put a regular spaghetti screen that you know for straining spaghetti. Okay. Right down into this yeah. pot of water. Then what do you do? I'm going to pour oil on this water. Over the top of the screen. Oh, it's nasty. Yeah, ugly stuff. I have some pre-mixed okay. polymer and granulated wax. Now I'm going to sprinkle the, the polymer wax formulation on the oil. A lot of oil. Now I'll count a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Now I'll stick my hand in here. Right. You see there's clear water. Huh. That fast. Just Holy clear water. Crap. No oil. Well, what happened to the oil? Well, <laughs> it conglomerated. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah? I'm going to drink some of this water. Oh, come on, Willie. This is uh, probably bad for you, you know. No, there's no oil. If, you, if these things work as well as they appear to work in these experiments, and as well as you say they do, why is it that Exxon didn't get back to you after the Valdez spill? Well, the hour Exxon happened, I was watching it on TV. Yeah. I started making phone calls, and then I started sending faxes, then I started sending videos, and then I sent a ream of confirmation of demos I've been doing for the last 25 years, and uh, I got nowhere. I called the mayor, I called the on-scene coordinator, I called the Coast Guard, I called the regional response team. Mm -hmm. I called everybody I could. I just spent hundreds of dollars trying to uh, get through to those people. I wanted to get there. Well, I heard from them about a month and a half later telling me they wouldn't have any need for my method. Of course, it was too late. A month and a half later, uh, the crude had turned to, to bunker, and the bunker had turned to tar. Now, what are you going to do? In, I mean, you've got the, the Ukrainians, obviously, are very eager to see your technology, yes. and they've asked you to go over there. W what do you do at Chernobyl? Okay. Uh, uh, a few years ago, I did a, a grant for CMHC to show that I can show them how I can prevent the infiltration of radioactive radon gas from entering into homes. Uh -huh. And we picked three homes with very high levels of radon. I was able to mitigate uh, these homes and to show that wax indeed uh, can stop the infiltration of radioactive radon gas. And uh, then I, I thought that, well, I should contact uh, somebody in Chernobyl uh, or in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, then, oh, about a year later, I got a uh, letter from the Minister of the Environment of the Ukraine uh, and inviting me to come to the Ukraine because uh, the USSR had forwarded all my confirmation of the tests I'd done uh, with radon gas and mine tailings uh, and oil spills uh, to the uh, Minister of the Environment. Yeah. So. How confident are you that that'll work? A hundred percent. hundred percent. I wouldn't... Now you f uh, Willie, you figure all of this out from basically a garage-sized lab in Perth, Ontario. Uh, maybe... Do you think you'd get people uh, knocking at your door more if you worked for a big corporation? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So oh, why don't I, you... If, or, well, if I had credentials, if I had a yeah. you know, Ph. degree, and uh, ecology and, uh, and, and a few degrees and a, and a card that said scientist on it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they might listen to me, but they're probably not listening to me because uh, I'm really not a, a, a super technical person. Actually, I'm a very simple person. Yeah. I like to do things simply, solve uh, uh, technical problems with simple answers. I, I, I'm glad to know you can still do that these days.
Yes, I think that I think that probably some of the children in our world today have some of the answers for some of the, the great problems. Well, remember Robert Frost said uh, spoke of taking the uh, the road less well traveled. I have a feeling that might be you. Sounds good. Thanks, Willie Nelson. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Stay with us, Canada, and we'll be right back. Thank you.